Yes, guys, how is it going? And welcome back to the adventure. Today, it's Manchester City versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Manchester City are back in Premier League action and they're back on the road as we travel to Molyneux to see Wolverhampton Wanderers take on our boys in blue. Midweek, Erling Haaland did it again. This time he scored against his former employers, Borussia Dortmund, in the 84th minute to grab a winner. I don't know what it is this season with about City going behind and coming back, but it's unbelievable to watch. Haaland continue his brilliant goal scoring record against Wolves this afternoon. But speaking of goal scorers, Wolves have made an addition to their squad, bringing in Diego Costa from a free agent. What a brilliant signing that is for Wolves, and he'll join half the population of Portugal playing at Molyneux. So it's going to be a very difficult test for both teams, with Wolves being a little bit of our bogey team in the last couple of years, parking 11 men behind the ball. Uh, but luckily, they don't have this man. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. It really helps more than you guys will ever know. And it's time to cross to Wolverhampton, to Molyneux for this massive game. Come on, City. Okay, we've made it into Molyneux, in my view. Exceptional, very, very happy with that. But I feel like there's a massive gap between the pitch and the first row of seats. Well, there is, but is there an athletics track that used to be there or anything? I don't know, you tell me, Wolves fans. Anyway, I've got a couple of little stats here. So I've been to the stadium three times, and the aggregate score of home and away teams is 6-0 to the away team. I've never seen the home team score. Obviously, England were thrashed 4-0 by Hungary here, and I've seen both Red Hearts of uh, Red Hearts of London come here and both win by a goal to nil, Arsenal, and, of course, Cockney, Manchester United. I said, I've come here and won by goal to nil, so I've never actually seen Wolves score here at Molyneux. Now I've said that, Diego Costa's probably going to bag one from about 20 yards out. Also, my first City game in 2011 was against Wolves. It was a 4-3 win. Carlos Tevez scores two and I threw my hot dog in the air and never got hit back. Back when City used to serve foot-long hot dogs back when I was 10 years old. Well, memories, missed that game. Uh, it was the longest added time ever as well. It was like seven minutes and City were 4-3 up. Colo Torre and Yaya Torre scored as well with two Tevez goals. So the Torre brothers scored on my first ever City game. So I've got fond memories of that as well. So very excited to see uh, Wolves and City clash again. Super, 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 super
Well, the second half has started well. Wolves really on their tails on quite good football on the back. It's hard in the zone. We've got a couple of corners. Edison's had to make a save. Not the best start. Oh, fucking half fighting is on you. Get that, brothers. Oh, 
Sal, what have you got? Oh. Props in. Oh. And it's a text it now. Oh! oh. And that's it. Set, set. And there we go then, full time at Molyneux. A brilliant first half, a bit of a dry second half, however, we managed to get the job done. Three goals to nil, obviously Grealish's goal with the first 55, 57, I don't know what it is, but before the minute mark, really, really set us on our way. Obviously, Wolves weren't going to part the bus after that because they know they needed a goal. That, that, that's really the key moment of the game for me, and obviously Erling Haaland scored the second, of course he did. Uh, with his dad about five seats next to me as well. Uh, and then obviously the red card, it was a red card. I've just looked here, it was like a kung fu karate type kick. Flipping heck, I don't know if he's been going to martial arts lessons, but he was walking. And then obviously the third goal was created brilliantly from Kev Harlow and finished off by Stockport's finest, Phil Foden. Brilliant result for City. And we're back to where we belong, at the top of the Premier League. So that is going to bring an end to the adventure here at Molyneux. What a way to set off for the weekend. I've got a smile on my face for the rest of the day and tomorrow. If you haven't enjoyed the adventure, make sure to smash the like button. Hit that big red subscribe button down below. It helps me out millions and I can bring so many more vlogs to you guys to watch. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. I'll probably see you at England, Germany during the international break. But I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.